What's up all, happy Saturday to you and welcome back to Born to Create. I hope you're taking advantage of this amazing day uh, and making the most of this time that we have here. So Born to Create is a simple concept, guys. It's about if who or what you wanna be does not exist, go out there and create it. So what we're doing, what we're doing is one, we're having fun, and two, uh, you guys are gonna follow me as, as I build my seven-figure online business this year. Uh, and my hope and desire is that you guys grab a hold and, and build your business as well because the opportunity that we have now before us in this day and age is massive. So uh, look over my shoulder, watch what I do, uh, follow, and hopefully we will, we will all build seven-figure businesses this year uh, in this wonderful internet world. So I want to continue the journey on on mindset because mindset I believe is super important and vital to to my success, your success. Um, but today I want to discuss failure. Uh, failure is is huge, and most people don't take advantage of what they have or take that first step because they're afraid that they might fail. Now, in my opinion, is is you have to fail as fast as possible because when you fail, you learn. I live by the win or learn model. I win or I learn. I never I never lose. It's not win lose for me. So if I try something and I fail, for me it's not a, a, a loss. I learn from it and I take what I learn to, to better my experiences and to help me uh, do bigger and better things. Failure is something that you can't avoid. If you have this big idea, so say you, you your goal is to build a seven figure business, uh, but you're afraid. You're afraid that if you do it, you're gonna fail. So in in, in my opinion is that you're going to fail either way because you're going to fail by by getting in and learning what to do or what not to do or you're going to sit there on your hands and not do anything and have regrets and for me that's also a failure to have regrets so get in and make it happen because when you hop in and you dig in and you learn and you fail, you learn something from that failure. So take what you learn and implement it back into your business and that will push you to the next level. I can't tell you how many times I failed in business. Um, I've, I've operated maybe 10 different businesses uh, before my first success. My first success was in real estate. Uh, when I got into that business, I even failed creating that business, but I finally I finally made, I finally got to a point where I made money in that business. But before then, I failed. Before then, I lost money. Uh, before then, I had, to, I had to work on marketing, I had to work on brand building and exposure. Uh, but I failed so many times at doing that. But I wanna encourage you to be consistent and keep going. There's nothing like um, having having your dream come true once you once you pass all that all those failures once you've done all you can um, and you failed but it finally came to fruition when you're in business when you're building this empire they're going to be failures they're going to be disappointments they're going to be times where you want to give up now if you if you ever get to a point in your business that you don't want to give up you have not worked hard enough so work so hard and get so sort of frustrated that you want to give up after that, push some more, do some more. But know that that failure is not a prerequisite for success. However, failure will be a part of your journey. So get in, fail fast, fail more, because the more you fail, the more you learn. So this journey on entrepreneurship, this journey to build a seven-figure business is about learning, and you learn when you fail. Now, to... to have that learning curve shrink as far as learning about business and, and e-com and some of your companies, you have to you have to read. Now, I'm not saying go out there and just, and just dive in and fail without any guidance or education. You have to get educated. You have to learn. You have to read. So throughout this this show, I want to introduce concepts, strategies, books, books, tools, mentors that have helped me get to where I am and it's helped, it's helped me right now. So by no means, again, am I saying jump in head first without any type of any type of goals or guidance or education. You will quickly learn that building a business is scary. Okay, it's scary because you are 100% in control of your destiny, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. Don't let fear keep you from taking action. If you do, you will regret not taking action uh, in the future. Just know that you have to get up, take action, and act despite of fear. 
I believe that no one is absent of fear, but the ones who are successful, they have that fear and they act despite the fear. They have that fear and they perform anyway. And a mentor of mine told me a long time ago that the cure to fear is action. If you're afraid, do it anyway. And once you do it, that fear will, will be cured. So don't let fear keep you crippled, keep you down and not allow you to act. You have the fear, act anyway. I'll be totally transparent. I'm fearful often in business. I'm fearful often in new product launches, new new ventures. But what I want in life has me performing to the point where I'm gonna act despite that fear. That fear is not gonna keep me from, from achieving my goals because fear is kind of false. Most times fear is, is, is a thing that we make up in our head and what we fear has not even happened. So why should we fear something that's not even happened yet? We, we fear because of people telling us this might happen, that might happen. Oh, oh, I tried it, so you shouldn't try it. I failed, so, so you're gonna fail. Your experience is not based on someone else's success. You can get advice from people, but get advice from people who, who have done what you've done and have failed at it and who have learned from it and that can help you get to that level where you wanna be. If someone's telling you no because they did it, that's not a good enough reason for you not to act because your experience can be different based on what you know or what you learned from your mentor or from studying. So today guys, my mandate to you is to keep pushing despite the fear. Uh, keep pushing despite the uncertainty because it will set in and it will happen. It will, it will be part of your life and your business. But you can achieve anything you want by taking the proper action to get there. Don't allow the fear to cripple you, keep you down, and don't allow that fear to put you in a grave because fear can be a death sentence to anybody who allows that fear to consume their life. So I want to share that with you uh, today. So go out there, make it happen, start setting goals, uh, start reading, uh, start developing your mind, and start learning how to handle the fear and act despite the fear. So that's it for this episode of Born to Create. So we'll see you next time, guys. Go out there and make it happen. Go out there and achieve your dreams. Go out there and do what you were born to do, which is who you were born to create. See you next time, guys. Bye.